Hey everybody, I hope you're well. Moving from the one chord to the two chord is such a common sound in soul and pop. The example I just played was a simple C major seven to D minor seven move. But over the course of this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to bring more color and life to that progression. First, here's that example slowly. Now I'm gonna bring in some color just by changing those chord voicings slightly. Here it is. All I did there was change the C major seven to a C major nine with no third and the D minor seven became a D minor 11. It's a subtle change, but you can hear the difference and here it is broken down. And I'll play that slowly for you now. Okay, the next one is huge. I'm going to start off with the C major seven chord, but just before I change the D minor nine, I'm going to insert an A seven chord. The A7 is what's called a secondary dominant of the D minor chord. It's the fifth degree of the D, so it gives a really nice pull towards that D minor and really opens the progression up. What's more, that A7 chord can be loaded up with tension for a really strong resolution to the D. We'll see that approach in a second, but here it is up to speed. And here it is slowly. Next, I'm gonna expand the secondary dominant idea with a technique called back cycling. Here, I'm seeing the D minor as my end goal, so I'm going to introduce a series of secondary dominant chords leading to it. We bring in the A7 chord as before, and then put an E7 chord before it, as this is the fifth degree of A. Remember, these chords are typically loaded with tension, which is what I'm doing here. And slowed down, it sounds like this. You can go even further with back cycling, so now I'm gonna add an extra chord, the fifth degree of the E7, which is gonna be some sort of B7 chord. And I'll play that all slowly now so you can see the fingerings. You'll hear those sort of ideas in Stevie Wonder's music amongst others, but a more simple traditional approach is just to link the chords with simple runs. You'll find loads of ideas like this in my book, The Soul Rhythm Guitar Book. Mm -hmm. 
Those are just C major pentatonic ideas, but to get it sounding right, the part needs to be consistent rhythmically and not too busy. I'll slow it down for you now. This final idea is basically the Hendrix approach. Within the chord shape, you create simple embellishments, but these can be demanding on the fretting hand as you are often holding down a bar chord whilst playing a hammer-on pull-off lick within the chord. Here's that one played more slowly. I hope that all helps. You'll find loads more ideas like this in my Soul Rhythm Guitar Book. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.